Uh, welcome to a brand new episode of 420 Grams. It's the 129th birth anniversary of Bhimrao Ambedkar, one of the leading thinkers, founders of the founding thinkers of this country, uh, on whose leadership or around whose leadership the Constitution of India was based, and many of the ideas and the ideals to which we hold ourselves as a country, uh, uh, sovereign, socialist, democratic republic, a union. Uh, where all Indians are equal and have the same set of rights and all residents in this country are uh, granted by law equal access to the law, equal opportunity, the right to life and many other things. Uh, we're talking about Ambedkar in the context of today's time uh, where we are going through, as we all know, a pandemic that has crossed boundaries, borders and every other man-made uh, barrier it's a global pandemic, but it's not the first time in history. It's happened over the course of human history over and over again. Uh, in fact, Ambedkar wrote in 1918 uh, during the last such massive uh, pandemic. And he talked then about access to healthcare, access to medical care, and how uh, the most marginalized in society, particularly those belonging to the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes, were refused medical care, were refused uh, basics that led to them suffering and dying in much larger numbers than everyone else. And we're seeing a very similar situation over a hundred years on. It's 2020. Not much seems to have changed in India. We're still talking about uh, migrant workers and how they are the cause of the spread of this, uh, this, this epidemic and how they're taking it from urban cities to the hinterland, etc., uh, etc., et we're seeing cases of people being denied treatment at hospitals, at government hospitals. Uh, we're seeing the media, the mass media, the public, popular mass media, uh, talking in divisive terms of where a certain religion or proponents of a certain religion are being selectively targeted as those that are not just uh, sort of the hosts of this virus, but also responsible for spreading this virus through their irresponsibility without really considering the economic realities and the social realities that force these sections of society uh, to live the way they do. And, and those of us who are more privileged, who continue the cycle of forcing them to live the, the way they do. Uh, in, some, in the context of some of these wider conversations about the marginalized, about migrants, uh, there is, we always come back to football because, and people often ask, have been asking, have been commenting on our, videos and our other posts these past few days talking about how in the context of this pandemic where over 100,000 people have now died, millions are infected and likely it's likely to get much worse. Millions more are suffering from the economic fallout. How can we talk about football? We can talk about football because A, it's not, it doesn't, football doesn't exist in a silo and B for us, for people like Jaidi Basu, Arjun Pandit and myself who are on this show today. We are, we are brought together, we come from different places, different backgrounds, we speak different languages, but we are brought together by this game simply because it's a game that seems to transcend many of these boundaries. It reflects the ills in our society, it reflects the flaws in our society, and yet it brings us together in a way that almost nothing else can. So uh, we'll come, we'll begin today's conversation with, with an old story, a story that starts in Burma during the Second World War. And Jedi, I'll come to you to tell us, actually, you've written a very nice piece for NewsClick, the, for our website uh, today about Fred Pugsley and his story and the long march that he undertook to come from Burma then uh, to India. So take it away, Jedi. Please tell us that story first and then we take the conversation forward. Sir, before, before uh, Sir say yeah. something, uh, I think uh, in tandem, Jedi, Sir, you and I should go like this. Yeah. <laughs> भाई जरो जो जो यहां पे ये शो देख रहे हैं मैं थोड़ा इसको मासी बना दूं हो क्या रहा है कि ये वन टेक था ठीक है दोस्तों वन टेक का मतलब ना बंदा हिचका है ना बंदे ने बोला सॉरी कैन आई डू इट अगेन बंदा गया घड़क और नॉन स्टॉप भाई मेरे को बीच में क्या होता है कि अक्सर जब कोई इतना लंबा यहां पे मोनोलॉग मारता है ना तो बीच-बीच में मेरे दिमाग वेवर्ड कहीं और चले जाता है तो दिमाग आता है कि मैं अब कैसे जोक मारूं अब कैसे मैं कुछ बकवास करूं पर आई वाज हुक्ड एंड आई वाजंट मूविंग ब्रदर this was next level, sir. Man, a ganja topi se salam aapko. Thank next you. level, sir. Thank, you. Thank you. Nahin, nahin, sir, but just sorry, actually, sorry, like, sorry. just to complete, sorry. because we are talking about Bhava Sahib Ambedkar, 
on this occasion of course happy birthday to ambedkar uh, and we we remember uh, his thoughts and we read him regularly and 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 we also like especially those of us who are who don't belong to these anusuchit janjati scheduled caste scheduled caste scheduled type ki jo hum log nahi hain jo who we have not had the lived experiences that dalits and adivasis in this country face so on behalf of like all of us to apologize also to ambedkar that a yeah, hundred and so many years after his birth and and uh, many years after his death that we have not even now been able to achieve a fraction of the ideals uh, on which you know we base the foundations of this country uh, so yeah that that apology also has to go out which i which i forgot to make so thank you for reminding me but yeah let's go on yeah <clears throat> So Zidant, uh, to take it from where you where where you finished, uh, like what you said about uh, Baba Sahib Ambedkar, we have managed to quickly make him into a demigod, and without following his following his principles, which we do with lots of leaders, and we have managed with with this gentleman also. We have di- did it with Mahatma Gandhi. We may have done it with some other people as well. With uh, Nitaji Shivas and the boys, or whosoever it is, uh, we have we have converted them into demigod, but fail to uh, fail to follow what they have said. Ac- actually, completely fail to follow what they have said to the other way. So now, uh, having said this, I would like to come back to you uh, as you said about Brett Pagasli. It's a fascinating story. It it becomes it becomes very to some extent relevant at this moment. because uh, i think a few crores of migrants who are now stranded on the road walking hundreds of miles to their destination and failing to do it being lati charged being 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 what not even what happened in bandra also we have seen it uh, the how they have been lati charged they just wanted to go back to their homes uh, uh, it's definitely not a crime to go back to their home or to or to a safer place rather they they thought they, that that if they go back to their home it will be safer for them whatever you say you stay home and stay safe ha huh? but they want they wanted to go to home and stay safe only that's all okay so what happened in barma in 1942 when japanese army was invading the 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 allied forces were 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 uh, on the back foot we know what happened in the second world war all of us are aware of it so bomber was invaded by japanese and they uh, and british lost the war so they had to retreat from and uh, bomber was now myanmar of course was taken over by uh, by uh, japanese army and thousands of indians some of them are barmese and europeans and everybody they wanted to leave barma Fred Parsley was a was a reputed footballer in Barma. He was he was a well known for uh, good teams. He played for his national team also, I believe. So uh, he also and only European Fred Parsley was an Anglo Barmese. Only Europeans were allowed to uh, go by go by uh, what you say ship or by air. Air was of course a very few at that time, but by ship uh, were very rare. Ship by ship nobody was allowed. out so thousands millions of indians had to walk back it was a great journey it's it's a, it's a it's a adorous journey you can you can see so they 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 i think walked 300 and 400 miles through the mountains of assam through the mountains of manipur and and most of some of them reached india some of them did not but like one historian has written a book on him the long forgotten journey so it So Fred Pagasli was one of them. This, he swamped through the jungles with his with his wife and a small child in hand. And when he when he reached Calcutta, he was now Kolkata, of course. He was penniless. Nobody knew him, but he knew East Bengal club because at East Bengal went to Bama and played some matches in Rangoon, now which is Yangon, of course. So he was penniless. He had nothing. So he somehow managed and. came to his bengal club and said ki i want to play for his bengal was uh, was bit taken aback they were embarrassed actually because they knew him he was a very fine footballer they knew him but they they couldn't take him because he was an anglo burmese his bengal before that never played a foreigner and secondly the man was visibly sick because he has he and his wife and his child has walked hundreds of miles 
without food without water without medicine they, they were on the on the on the uh, that they didn't die on the road it's a it's a miracle <clears throat> but they still took him they played him th- three matches on the third after the third match he started vomiting and blood came and started coming out of his uh, mouth the doctor said don't play him is bengal also said bhai bahut ho gaya aap aaram karo hum aapko nahi khila sakte that time isko indian uh, steel company in Barn, barnpur which is i think now is nationalized i am not very sure about that that time was owned by martin barn company <coughs> and sir virendranath mukherjee who was later became who was a very close monmagan monmagan uh, official and was the president of monmagan club in the later years also his father rajan mukherjee was also president of monmagan club so he offered him a job in barnpur in steel factory steel factory was a great form at that time because the war was on steel you know was so he played on and off on and off for east bengal and he couldn't in 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 the season of 1943 and 1944 he couldn't play for east bengal much <coughs> because the in the office he was not getting leave because he has to come from barnpur come back here play and go back his office was not allowed him so finally in 19 he was playing but only occasionally finally in 1945 he managed to grant get his leave from the office during the calcutta match and he played almost every match he emerged the top scorer with 21 goals and that was the first year in 1945 when east bengal won the double in calcutta league double means winning the calcutta football league and the ifa shield both <coughs> both and actually which arjun i and uh, and siddhant all of us discuss regularly <coughs> about derby match mohan bagan versus east bengal the derby excitement it actually started in 1945 before that east bengal mohan bagan match used to attract lot of crowd but the craze actually started in 1945 there was huge demand for tickets when mohan bagan met east bengal in the final so they sold if, tickets if i can interrupt just to ask a quick ha, question tell me yeah uh, is this because uh, before that obviously east bengal uh, mohan bagan sorry still had a much longer history and they were already established as among ha. the prime clubs in calcutta and in indian football Yeah, not yeah. Calcutta, yeah. India yeah. at that time. So they used to consider yeah. them yeah. the, the yeah. biggest yeah. club of India. Yeah. Club of India. Yeah. So, so is it yeah. that and East Bengal yeah. were founded, if I'm not wrong, in 1920? Okay. Ah, so is uh, it yeah. just yeah. a question yeah. that it was a new club and it took 20, 25 years for them to build up that reputation, that stature, and also that quality of team that they could compete with East Bengal? With you, with no, no, no. There is one, there with Mohan Bagan. Uh, there were several reasons of it. First of all, Mohan Bagan was the un, undisputed club, national club of India. Nobody could match them. Secondly, there was uh, there were a lot of European teams, Dalhousie, Calcutta, Ka Football Club. All were they were equally good clubs. So, see, before Mohan Bagan East Bengal, the derby match in Calcutta was Mohan Bagan versus Calcutta Football Club. That used to be the derby match, Mohan Bagan versus Calcutta. <clears throat> East Bengal came much later. Then, between 1934 and 1940, <clears throat> Calcutta's number one team was Mohammed Sporting. In nine years, they won the Calcutta League eight times. Five times in a row, they won the Calcutta League. They won IFA Shield. They won Rovers Cup. They won what not? They won Durand Cup. So, Mohammed Sporting was the number one team. <clears throat> East Bengal, of course, was a great team, but that. that one versus two rivalry was is yet to come it slowly came in the 40s when the european teams tried started mm. dying down because the european interest in india was dying and europeans were mainly busy in the war the calcutta team, and and they were in calcutta they were mostly military teams military teams were busy in war and mohan sporting also <clears throat> after 1941 42 they were they were a great team but they were they were success was not that much started they are receding their success so mohan bagan east bengal became became the number one number two team and coming back to 1945 shield final 
the tickets were sold of 45000 which was a huge huge amount at that day two days before the final east bengal defender pramod dasgupta he was a very depend- dependable defender the man was attacked by a by a group of miscreants in a dingy lane they were masked there was no light he was badly beaten up and next day it was it was found that he is not he will not be able to play the final so you can understand what happened <laughs> who who mm. who blamed whom for <laughs> allegations counter allegations everything went up so is the, the so the match was <clears throat> there was great tension and and pagasli we are coming back to pagasli pagasli had his leave for the league but he did not receive leave from his office for the shield ifa shield so after second round he never played in the final he thought let me go and watch the final at least mm. so he took a train from banpur came to calcutta he went to straight to the east bengal tent great east bengal forward somana Sumana was Calcutta League hard, hard top scorer twice I think he was a East Bengal legend he was from Bangalore but he was he was uh, considered East Bengal's own man Sumana he was though he was from Bangalore and Sumana was from a very high family he was married to Karnataka at that time Mysore High Court Chief Justice his uh, justice Kuri daughter he was married to he, he, so Kuri. Sumana ha yeah he was from a from a very uh, what is what i guess socially very upscale family he was from somana was 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 to play as the center forward somana was about to put the jersey he put in the jersey when pagasli uh, uh, walked into the east bengal tent somana looked at him it is according to the historians bengali east bengal historians he looked at him he took off his jersey and says mr pagasli you must play you were the top scorer in the league you were our best footballer so you should play and win the league is shield for this bengal so pagasli was a bit reluctant then he agreed he said okay i will play and as it happened he swingal one one nil and he he scored the goal so he became a, the man who walked 400 miles or 300 miles from myanmar to calcutta any less with his wife and child in, in, in with him he had no food no shelter no medicine no clothes no where to go like a like a migrant worker today i thought so that's why i it it inspired me to write that story see he finished on the top of the world and in 40s and it completely damaged his health actually sure. so he went back to bama in 1946 and in 1958 he passed away So that's in short is a reading story, story. Yeah. wonderful story sir yeah beech mein interrupt karne ka maine nahi kiya bilkul main to sun sunne hi ja raha tha sunne hi ja raha tha yahan pe aap by the way sir for all our people who are watching this right now because i just realized you know that hum idhar udhar ki kahaniyon ke bare mein padhte rehte hain sara football i'm i'm reading a book right now called zonal marking by the uh-huh. supposed statistician uh, statistician in europe called uh, uh, michael cox yeah and he's okay. written about europe's evolution tactically so he started with netherlands now he's going to italy and so on and so forth to agar kolkata ki evolution ke bare mein koi padhna chahta hai jaise aapne abhi jo samjhaya mere ko pata nahi tha i had no idea that prior to 1945 it was calcutta football club and mohan bagan that was the rivalry so if i want to read about something that's happened in my own country and it's such a lovely rivalry and there's there's so much history involved and there's romance involved in it koi kitab hai jo main pad sakta hu uh you know arjun the unfortunately most of the books are in bengali to so, sir kisne translate uh, nahi kiya inko translate maybe one day i will do it i will write no. a book on it <laughs> let's so <laughs> let's uh, if you find me a public oh, publisher uh, i will write sir, write a let, book okay chalo okay. let's do this hum <laughs> lockdown mein hai theek hai zyada koi kahi ja nahi raha hai nayi stories kuch hum karenge nahi so why not let's start this uh, lockdown project since we pandit and i don't speak or read bengali Uh, why don't you identify there some books that deserve translation and then we can work on the project and i am sure publishers are, would be very keen these is i will i will pass, uh, to uh, to be on the serious side i would like to li- uh, 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 would like to write a book on mohan bagan's struggle rivalry <clears throat> not only with a historical background with but with a sociological background in yeah in, i think that's the more important one 
I am. I am not very aware of it. If there is any, I. I it, isn't it? Isn't it a little strange that we are uh, more than fifty years ahead of that now, or sixty years ahead of that, or even seventy years? Me, yeah, my maths is really bad. Sixty, uh, seventy years ahead of that, and no one is. Not one person has come out and translated it beyond a market for beyond Bengal. Basically, that's my point. many larger sort of schemes of things that are happening in this country they also can be divided into a pre 2014 and a post 2014 bracket so so every everything I, is not I, I, and arjun just just see to be on the serious side that yeah not only on mohan bagan is bengal no book has been written on hyderabad football no oh, book yeah. has been written written on written on uh, for, for bangalore football how how the players from kerala came and played in calcutta that all these things <coughs> nobody has written fascinating stories hyderabad and bangalore can give you forget about calcutta uh, if you go to bangalore and hyderabad there hyderabad has produced 14 olympians 14 mm. olympians and you know in 2003 i'm just giving you an example that how the ignorant people is in 2003 when the national games was held in held in uh, 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 hyderabad the then chief minister of hyderabad chandra babu naidu he in, he invited all the hyderabad olympia olympians mm. for a, for a, all hyderabad national players who have played for india in different for a, for a party at his house for which is which is very 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 good where gopi chand was there azaruddin was there mukesh kumar hockey player was there mm-hmm. the only person who was not invited was peter thangaraj who had played two olympics in three asian games pata hi nahi hoga unko pata hi nahi who has a gold medal in his pocket who yeah. had a gold medal in his pocket he was never invited so they themselves are so ignorant bangalore have you seen anybody writing a book on bangalore football mm. if you if you look at the 1952 indian indian football teams uh, the list of indian football players in the 1952 team eight were from bangalore eight players were from bangalore but nobody has written a book or chronicle any document no, on it's them. a it's a it's a yeah. comment can, on can all I, of us i suppose in general who have, who have worked in this yeah. industry for so long and followed indian football for so long i mean like uh, there are a few of you of course who have written books on the different subjects related to indian football uh novi of course yourself uh, and and a, and a handful of others but very few and far between and also the fact that we have so many languages in this country ki theek hai vernacular mein to likh rahe hain log mizoram mein koi likh raha hai ki mizoram ki football kahani kya hai bengal mein they i'm sure there are bengali mein there must be hundreds of books because in bengal it's also a part of popular culture uh, so so yeah, i'm exactly. sure there is there's a lot of work of all kinds academic work logo ne apne phd thesis likhe honge all kinds of works must have been done on this but but the rest of the country has very little access to it so and again we are talking about ambedkar i mean one of the things that ambedkar was among other things was a prolific writer uh, whether it was in terms of writing books or essays or articles or uh, and in in a multitude of languages so so we should uh, like like jaydeep was saying that we we don't follow the people that we idolize or, or we make into gods so it's time that we use some of this extra uh, lack of traffic etc etc that we have in this lockdown and get cracking on these projects i'm saying this mostly to myself <laughs> but janab aap 
जनरल टेक फॉर फुटबॉल राइटिंग अ फुटबॉल बुक और लेट्स नॉट यू से फुटबॉल बुक या स्पोर्ट्स बुक बियॉन्ड क्रिकेट Are there takers for sports books beyond cricket, or is it always the same? Ghisa bata kani ki jee bitao couples heroes 1983 and aage bado. Ki le rahe ho kya thodi? Aap agar ne hamare ek ek cricket panelist hai Nikhil Nath jinki kitab hai Miracle Man karke 1983 World Cup winning squad pe to shayad Pandit was making a little jai ba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, football, yeah. football, के साथ takers नहीं है क्या? I mean, uh, have you, have you, no one, have you never come across information that someone's been approached to write a book on the history of Bengal football and I, so on? I, I, I don't blame the readers because we have not given them anything. Yeah. How can you see there is no care when we don't give them anything? They can always come back and turn around and say, "Hey, क्या तो दिखाओ पहले." Yeah. No, 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 no,
एंड अम बोला ये कौन है क्या है ये जजी मैंने कहा गधो ये बहुत फेमस जजी है रिस्पेक्टेड समथिंग दैट कम फ्रॉम योर ओन कंट्री मैन एंड सो दैट लियोर द ईस्ट बंगाल जर्जी ना फॉर मी दैट इनफैक्ट द बेस्ट ईस्ट बंगाल जर्जी वॉज द वन विच आई सो बाई चूंग वेरिंग Uh, in that one lakh thirty thousand वाला जो game था ना जिसमें उसने goal मारा था with the collar with the collar sir with the collar what I would do to get that jersey again what I would do to get that jersey just if anyone knows who's watching this कहाँ से हमें original East Bengal jerseys मिल सकती हैं तो लिख दो यार comments में भाई कोई message भेज देना नहीं Mr Singh को अच्छा भाई को भाई को Mr Bhutia को oh Mr Bhutia और फिर वॉल ही मारा देखा वो वीडियो डाला था इंस्टाग्राम पे हाँ देखा और और साहब ये भी बोल हैं कि ही 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 का मेयर फॉर प्रेसिडेंट समडे सेड 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 व्हेन इन फेसबुक इंटरव्यू हुई अ बिग थिंग यार हमने क्यों कवर क्यों नहीं किया मेरे को पता नहीं चला ये उसने बोला उसको फेसबुक में पूछा वुड यू लाइक टू बी ए प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ एफ एफ से Maybe not in the near future, because I think the next president of the AFF will probably be someone from uh, FSDL. No, he is not eligible. Also, he is not eligible. So what is the eligibility factor? Sir? No, he has to be a member of a of the of a state or a or the AFF executive committee for two years or four years, or two years I think. So hmm. he is. I don't think he is eligible because I don't think he is a member of the Sikkim no, uh, Football Association executive committee. So yeah, uh, uh, unless they change the eligibility, but that's the constitution rule. Really. Having having said that, uh, legend one side and a, uh, a legit legend one side, but being an administrator is a completely different thing. So you know, and more often than not, the two generally do not come together. हमने ये देखा है. So then Bai Chung, of course, runs the risk of uh, uh, doing uh, harm to all the PR and goodwill that he's earned, courtesy of being a footballer on the field. यार थिंग्स डोंट वर्क आउट और आज का जो हमारा जमाना है कि हर किसी पे हम जी बंदूक और फिंगर्स विंगर्स हम लोग पॉइंट करते रहते हैं हाउ डू यू नॉट डू दिस हाउ डू यू नॉट डू दैट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू सी मोर डेफिनेटली मैन लाइक आई आई हैव टू सी लाइक आई सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट आई जस्ट दैट लाइक आई थिंक दे यू विल फाइंड एवरी लाइक व्हेन बाइचुन रिटायर्ड आई रिमेंबर आई रिटन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ ट्रिब्यूट पीस and the headline of the piece was that everyone has a baichung bootia story any anyone that has yeah. watched football in the last 20 years 30 years has a baichung bootia story whatever that story might be whether it's a personal story or something you've seen on television or at the ground or whatever and one thing about baichung is that like irrespective of the fact that during his playing days and beyond he has achieved a level of popularity that has far exceeded most other football players in this country uh-huh. i think it's really challenging him yes. for that now right but if you consider the fact that he bai chung did all of this when there was no social media no facebook no instagram no twitter mm-hmm. none of that right it was just on the yeah. basis of folklore kahani jo bai chung ke goals ki kahani jo bolate the newspaper mein jo photo aata tha या जब कभी बड़ा मैच हुआ और टीवी पे किसी ने देख लिया तो बहुत बढ़िया सो एंड सो डिस्पाइट ऑल ऑफ दिस ही हैज़ ऑलवेज बीन आई थिंक क्वाइट हम्बल एंड एंड विलिंग टू लिसन वेरियस पॉइंट्स ऑफ व्यूज यू नो और जो आप कह रहे हैं कि हम बंदूक टांग देते हैं किसी पे हम तो भाई अगर हम जर्नलिस्ट हैं या थे किसी जमाने में या हम हम नहीं भाई जनरल पब्लिक की बात पब्लिक का तो काम है पब्लिक तो पैसे दे रही है ना तो पब्लिक के लिए तो जायज है सवाल पूछना PR means public हाँ, relations, ना yeah. basically. That's my point. So, oh, ab when if Saurabh Ganguly can become BCCI president, hmm. if if Sebastian Coe can believe. become uh, International Athletic Federation president, if yeah. Michel Platini can become UEFA president, then I don't see anything wrong in Bai Chung becoming the UEFA uh, president. He will run it as good or as bad. Uh, uh, not that those who are running the show are running running at a great. <laughs> Uh, uh, nobody can accuse them of doing that at least. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Instead of comparing 
uh, a future Bhaichung Bhutia as president of the Football Federation okay. to what some of these guys have or have not done. And we can argue on that endlessly yeah. because like whether it's Sebastian Ko or uh, any yeah. of these ex, ex- so athletes, the what they have done, yeah. let's, we'll, we won't start that can of worms. But we should, ju- I suppose he'll be judged or we should judge him against what other presidents of the federation have done. And I would like to see uh, Bai Chung being president in 2026 <laughs> when India will play the World Cup. Right? That is it. Sir, 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 you can see that India is commentary in 2026. News click. Pe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Documentation is a good thing. It's 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 true yeah. that, like, of course, there is no comparison to writing a book and authoritative, properly uh, annotated with all your uh, reading lists and everything written down. But at NewsClick, and you guys know this, I mean, our attempt is to do the same thing to, to document the times that we are living in. And to do it and to give access to it without a subscription model, without an advertiser model, so that as many people as possible can access uh, these conversations. And, and a lot of it is based on actual journalism that happens, uh, maybe not from on my part, but like we do have journalists on the show uh, who come and talk about things that are actually happening on the ground across the country. So, so the process is on. Yeah, we should all do better. And that should be... Sir, in the uh, uh, documentation, you have told us that 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 you have But uh, point being, at least let's start a series for all the people that are watching this. I have told you that I because I am intrigued by this entire subject. So let's start a series. Let's start a weekly series. Now, Modi Ji has told us that we have told us that we have told us that we have told us Third may say or Aga Janevale, I'm not going to be a better. Is it luck to rise? So, luck to And on, honestly speaking, you know, I was talking to my family today. I said, Agar domaina hobi ya. In the larger scheme of things, domaina kya hai? Kuch nahi hai. I know I'm, I'm coming from a different perspective. Maybe I'm not coming from the perspective of the person you started by talking no, about at the start of the That's show. That's what. I know that. So, like from each according to his own ability and to each according to his need. That, that is the principle that should guide us yeah. when we are uh, sort of, you know, coming out, coming up with a framework in which to do this. If you and I have the luxury and the privilege of being able to have sit at home and we are getting food on our house, we are getting food, we are getting water, we are getting sanitation, we are getting sanitation, we should sit at home. Yes, we are getting 100% those people who are getting food for their own food, पैसे कमाने निकलते हैं घर से ऑफ कोर्स उनको निकलने देना चाहिए और उनको पूरी सहूलियत मिलनी चाहिए निकलने के लिए मैं एक आपको एग्जांपल दूंगा आज दो हफ्ते बाद मैं घर से निकला था मुझे कुछ इक्विपमेंट उठाना था ऑफिस से प्लस मेरे घर में 12 13 लोग रहते हैं तो हम राशन पानी भी थोड़ा कम हो गया था तो कुछ लेके आना सामान तो ऑफिस के बगल में मुझे एक लेडी कांस्टेबल मिली हां रोड पे खड़ी हुई थी ऑफ ड्यूटी ऑब्वियसली लुकिंग फॉर अ वे टू गो होम तो ना वो मैं मैं जा रहा हूं अकेले गाड़ी में ठीक है मेरे पास गाड़ी है तो मैं जा सकता हूं आ, तो मैं जा रहा था वापस आ रहा था घर की तरफ तो ना तो इन्होंने मुझे इशारा किया यू नो टू से कि प्लीज कैन आई हैव अ राइड बट आई कुड टेल दैट शी इज स्टैंडिंग इन द मिडल ऑफ द रोड बाय हरसेल्फ एंड देयर इज नो पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट सो आई पुल्ड ओवर एंड आई आस्क्ड हर व्हाट्स अप व्हेयर डू यू नीड टू गो शी सेड आई हैव जस्ट फिनिश्ड माय ड्यूटी आई एम पोस्टेड एट द साकेत पुलिस स्टेशन एंड आई लिव इन पालम गांव now for aap log delhi ko jante hain jo log nahi jante uske liye unke liye bata dun kam se kam 15 se at least 15 kilometer ki duri hai theek hai ha this lady yeah, yeah, yeah. is a constable yeah. in the delhi police she is on duty providing an essential service i am guessing that if she has been deployed today in this lockdown situation ki wo faltu mein to nahi khadi hui thi road ke side pe ghumne to nahi nikli thi vardi mein इतनी दूर ठीक है तो मैं इनसे पूछ रहा था कि क्या होता है अरेंजमेंट क्या सीन है आपको ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट तो पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट तो बंद है तो आप कैसे आते हैं रोज ड्यूटी पे ये ऐसी लिफ्ट मांग के तो आप सोच रहे हैं ये 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 हाल है सरकारी नौकर का जो पुलिस वाले हैं जो एसेंशियल एब्सोल्युटली एसेंशियल ड्यूटी इस टाइम पे निभा रहे हैं तो ऑफ कोर्स आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट योर लाइक योर पर्सपेक्टिव इज लिमिटेड टू पीपल लाइक अस हु हैव द लग्जरी 
and in those watching should also hmm. understand that it's in that context ha huh. फिर ना भाई आज आज क्योंकि आपने शुरुआती सिस्टम से करी थी तो मैं आपको रोकूंगा नहीं बट पॉइंट बीइंग दिस कि सर अब जो लॉकडाउन पे हैं वंस अ वीक एक शुरू कर लेते हैं एपिसोड वे वे टॉकिंग अबाउट कैलकटा फुटबॉल एटलीस्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद कैलकटा बिकॉज़ देयर सो मच टू टॉक अबाउट एंड लेट्स कीप बिल्डिंग ऑन इट वंस अ वीक एक एपिसोड तो करना ही है सो दैट वी कैन डू आवर बिट of uh, all these supposed football fans who have come post 2014 <laughs> ki unko educate kare ki you know there was once a time of what your isl is trying to do right now probably 20 <laughs> years down the line there was once a time in indian football when that sort of passion and romance mm. existed in the game <coughs> and it still exists and in much larger exists. numbers in fact the isl is i think it's one like, more thing that has of course it still exists it. only thing we don't give them publicity hmm only thing we don't don't give them publicity go yeah. to a district league you will see how much people come and watch the matches they may not be playing in a football of great standard but there are hundreds a few hundred are watching them yeah so it's not that uh, every time you have to give free passes to people to come to the ground mm. and give them a free dinner dinner in the end yeah but aap aapne aap aapne baat kari main jab khelta tha to generally kya hota tha ki nainital mein tournament hota tha और वहां पे ना बजरी का ग्राउंड होता था वहां पे नेक्स्ट टू द लेक बड़ा टूर्नामेंट होता था तो वहां पे एम्स दिल्ली की दो दिल्ली की दो तीन टीमें जाती थी एक कभी एफसीआई जाती थी फूड कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया तो एक एक साल मैं खेलने चले गया फॉर आई थिंक मैं एम्स के लिए खेलने गया था और एक साल मैं एफ के लिए खेलने गया था जिस साल में एम्स के लिए खेलने गया ना सर एक तो वहां पर दैट वॉज माई फर्स्ट ईयर और वहां पे सडनली बिकॉज इट वॉज इन द मिडल ऑफ द मार्केट और मतलब इट वाज नॉर्मल टूरिस्ट ऐसा नहीं था कि फुटबॉल टाइप फैंस दिख रहे थे नॉर्मल टूरिस्ट जो आपके हिल स्टेशन में जा, जहां पे भी आपको दिखते हैं और सडनली क्या भरा विद लोकल्स सब के सब आ गए वहां पे मैच देखने के लिए एक अलग ही यू नो अंदर से एज अ प्लेयर व्हेन यू इन द मिडल ऑफ दोस ट्वेंटी टू प्लेयर्स एंड यू सी यू सर सराउंडेड बाई सो मेनी पीपल ऑटोमेटिकली एवरीथिंग वेंट अप स्पीड गोज अप ऑटोमेटिकली स्पीड ऑफ थॉट गोज अप ऑटोमेटिकली यू नो माई अग्रेशन गोज अप and then when we were playing a quarter final versus garhwal rifle garhwal rifle wahan ki badi team thi military team thi aur bahut mara hai unhone konia pehle marte the fir ball chute the unke sath khel ke jab unko haraya humne oh ho ho wahan pe to hero ban gaye the hum log uske baad to kahin bhi dukan mein kahin bhi jao koi paise nahi mang raha pool khelne jao koi paise nahi mar raha kyunki billiards and all is huge in the hill station yeah, yeah, yeah. for past time so aap keh rahe the na these small small pockets even local matches it's huge आप देखो ना अर्जुन आप जैसे नैनीताल का बात उठाया इसलिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ नैनीताल देहरादून इस एरिया को कुछ दिन पहले कुछ कोई लड़का हमको बोल रहे थे देखो अनिरुद्ध थापा जैसे लड़का वो आया है देहरादून जैसे एरिया से आया है अनिरुद्ध इज अ वेरी फाइन प्लेयर आई लाइक अनिरुद्ध डोंट से सच थिंग्स अमर बहादुर श्याम थापा भूपिंदर सिंह रावत हरकृष्ण सिंह रंजीत थापा ऑल केम केम फ्रॉम देहरादून भूपेंद्र सिंह रावत प्लेड लॉट ऑफ ऑफ दैट्स व्हाट आई अमर बहादुर श्याम थापा और रंजीत थापा ऑल केम फ्रॉम देहरादून देहरादून हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड एन एरे ऑफ टॉप फुटबॉलर्स एट वन पॉइंट सर मंडी में क्या टूर्नामेंट होता था क्या ग्राउंड होता था मंडी में हां अभी भी होता है अभी भी ग्राउंड इट वाज हां ओनली थिंग वी डोंट गिव देम पब्लिसिटी दैट इज द थिंग अमर बहादुर व्हेन इंडिया वन द Asian Games bronze medal in 1970. Amar Bahadur scored the winning goals against Japan. He is from Dehradun. So don't start your history from Anirudh Thapa, please. As a very fun. As a very fun. City will get ball. Come on, India. Let's football. So not that 2014 ke baad hi Anirudh Thapa player bane. Yeah. Pehle bhi player. In fact, Floyd Floyd was on our show the other day, and he he was praising yeah, I, I, uh, lavishly. I, I he was pra- sending praise on uh, Anirudh Thapa, what what the player he was in the AIF uh, academies. Uh, uh, you know, and academy. put credit to the AIF for starting these academies. And he was exactly. saying that Anirudh uh, was one of those players who would grasp things very quickly. So very quickly, uh, he became he, one of my main players. Uh, because he came from the previous academy, he was not not entirely made by Floyd. He in was he already had a had a training with. with yeah. इमिग्रेशन एंड लेबर लॉज माइग्रेशन इज 
is a massive concept and uh, like there are migrants who are highly skilled who are welcomed in countries like the US and Canada and other developed economies with fancy visa classes and high paying salaries and all of that and then there are migrants like the journeymen who come to India from various parts of Africa in a hope that here because of the skills they have in the game of football they can a establish relationships people can start to relate to them and their culture they can understand the the other culture through the sport uh, learn the language etc assimilate in, in a sense and like you're saying i mean like we talked today about the calcutta derby as sacrosanct as in as in east bengal mohan bagan is the calcutta derby but like jedi was pointing out that was not always the case and perhaps this burmese gentleman anglo burmese even right had a key part to play um, yeah. in establishing the primacy of that as the number one rivalry in calcutta which just goes to show what a person with no links to the place no ties nothing as such just comes with his football boots and his passion and plays for a club and then start something that is much bigger and we might never have heard of him but we've heard of east bengal mohan bagan so so it's an amazing story i think and and it's something that we should focus on uh, going forward as well so thank you very much uh, jaydeep for that mm. great bit of history thank and, you and thank you and i think i and I, i also i would like to add in the end that the word word migrant has become very important in world mm. politics these days because it has now become the base of all ultra rightist politics yeah so yeah. to to an extent so uh, in today's world in 2020 today standing here whether whether it's coronavirus or not the word migrant is extremely important last words from you mr pandit and then we call it a day for tonight sir sir last words yahi hai ki ye series shuru karo jald se jald और आप ना जितनी जल्दी आप अपनी दाढ़ी बनाते हैं उतनी जल्दी सीरीज को मैं शुरू करना क्योंकि अब हमें पता है कि आपकी ये दाढ़ी अब अगले सैतालीस हफ्ते तक उगेगी तो उतना मत करिएगा लेकिन हम हर हफ्ते सिंस वी हैव जयदीप सर वी हैव यू नो एन बोथ ऑफ आस वी फॉलो द गेम एंड वी लव द गेम सो इनक्विजिटिव अबाउट द गेम एंड आई एम प्रोड्यूस द सो मनी पीपल हुर शो uh who know that this show is not faffing bro this show is actually by people who love the game so this is why they come regularly to watch the show unke list the least we can do document to aap karo sir wo bhai hamara publisher publisheron ka dost hai wo yaar hai yaaron ka yaar hai to wo to try karega but at least one episode weekly on the kolkata rivalry or the kolkata uh, love story with the beautiful game and probably take it into 6 7 parts series yeah so i mean uh, we should... Okay. And you you never know that Netflix might approach us. I <laughs> said <laughs> to end with it, Siddhant. I just wanted to uh, tell you. I uh, I spoke to Mr. Subrata Datta today. He is ready to be interviewed by you. Uh, but once the uh, once this I League cancellation is right. announced, it will be it will be announced tomorrow or oh, day after good. tomorrow. So it that, will be announced. There you go. Then yeah. there, that's the teaser for our next show. We'll be talking about what will happen with the I League. Uh, as soon as that announcement comes out in uh, fact so let's uh, try gentlemen to have some conversations and break that story if we can uh, on 420 gram so, uh, so he will he will so once the once ha wo to bandi ho raha hai kal parso meeting ho jayega to usne kaha ki iske baad hum main unse baat kar lunga once the decision comes out then we we'll, so we can so we'll have another perfect आप वो वो आप तो गूगल पे भी ले सकते हैं या आप वो बोल रहे थे कि कुछ गूगल क्या है एक तो स्काइप है और कुछ गूगल गूगल ये कुछ है पता नहीं क्या है तो आप उन सब बात कर ले बात बढ़िया सर ओके सो ऑन दैट नोट वील वील वाइंड दिस अप जस्ट गिविंग थैंक्स टू आई गेस द फैक्ट दैट वी ऑल हैव होम्स टू बी इन एंड टू स्टे सेफ इन जस्ट वंस अगेन टू एवरीवन एल्स हु कैन स्टे होम स्टे होम Uh, if you have to go out be safe uh, take all the precautions and 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 also a word to uh, my colleague our colleague gautam navlakha uh, of newsclick and he's a civil rights activist who has a long standing history of talking in favor of and advocating for the rights of those who don't have a voice um, and on this ambedkar jayanti in what is one of the greatest ironies i think in the indian state 
uh, Gautam Navlakha and Anand Teltunde, who's married to, who's a Dalit rights activist and a, and a civil liberties activist as well, and a teacher. Uh, they, uh, the NIA is uh, taking them in, into custody in the in a in the Bhima Koregaon case. Uh, both of them are old; uh, they are above 60 years of age. And I, as we know, like in in these times, I mean, jail authorities themselves are talking about how uh, jails are petri dishes for the coronavirus, and overcrowding in jails is going to lead to massive amounts of inhumanity. And for people to be incarcerated at this time, being under trial, not convicted criminals. These are not. Let's let's make it very clear that these are not convicted criminals. They are under trial, just uh, in jail, awaiting prison, uh, awaiting their trial. So, uh, thought to them and uh, hopefully powers that be are listening and will consider their set of priorities and, and allow the voices of those who are otherwise shut down to be heard and we live up to some of those ideals of uh, Indian democracy the way we envisioned them back when we were not India yet. So, thank you guys for joining me once again. So, sorry for uh, the whole monologue and talking so much but it's just one of those days uh, and we'll be back tomorrow with more. Uh, please write in to us what about stories that you would like to hear about Calcutta football, Goa football, Kerala football. Aisi koi kahani hume batai hai, aisa koi lead DJ hai, aapke gaon se koi ho agar, jo khelta ho, jisko mauka nahi mila ho, ya mauka mila ho, ya jiski kahani hum bhool gaye ho, ya jiski kahani humne suni na ho, uske baare mein hume batai hai. या जो आप और बातें सुनना चाहेंगे इतिहास के बारे में कलकत्ता फुटबॉल गोवा फुटबॉल केरला फुटबॉल ऑल ओवर इंडिया नॉर्थ इंडिया में जैसे फुटबॉल होता था उत्तर प्रदेश में फुटबॉल होता था जैसे जो लंबी लिस्ट जयदीप ने दी है ऑफ फुटबॉलर्स टू कम फ्रॉम देहरादून जो देहरादून इंटेग्रल पार्ट था उस समय उत्तर प्रदेश का तो इस इस तरह की काफ़ी कहानियाँ हैं तो बताइए आप लाइक कीजिए कॉमेंट कीजिए बताइए क्या सुनना चाहेंगे और हम कोशिश करेंगे टू ब्रिंग सम ऑफ दोज कॉन्वर्सेशन टू यू विथ Nice new haircuts. Hopefully, next week we will have one scene of the three of us. Okay. If there is nothing, we will not do anything on Instagram Live. All right. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.